Understanding High Sticking in Ice Hockey, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a very specific but interesting phrase in English, high sticking. This term comes from the world of ice hockey and is a great example of how English incorporates unique terms from various sports. So, let's dive into what high sticking means and why it's important in the context of ice hockey. High sticking refers to a situation in ice hockey where a player lifts their stick too high, especially in a way that can be dangerous to other players. The official rule states that it occurs when a player's stick is brought above the height of the shoulders. This can happen during various situations in the game, like trying to hit the puck, blocking a shot, or even accidentally in the heat of the game. High sticking is penalized because it can be extremely dangerous. The sticks used in hockey are hard and can cause serious injuries, especially if they hit someone in the face or head. To ensure player safety, high sticking results in a penalty, where the offending player must spend time in the penalty box. This rule emphasizes the importance of playing safely and respecting other players on the ice. Let's look at some examples. Imagine a player trying to intercept a high puck. If they raise their stick above shoulder level and it makes contact with another player, that's high sticking. Another example could be during a face-off. If a player lifts their stick too high in an attempt to gain control of the puck, they might be penalized for high sticking. High sticking penalties can significantly impact the game. When a player is penalized, their team has to play with one less player for the duration of the penalty. This situation, known as a power play for the opposing team, creates a strategic advantage and can change the course of the game. I hope this video has helped you understand what high sticking means in ice hockey and why it's a key rule in the sport. Remember, learning these specific terms not only enriches your English vocabulary but also gives you a deeper insight into the cultural aspects of language. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next English learning adventure.